Hey guys, have you ever wanted to downgrade your iPhone to an older iOS version you liked? But when you check the IPSW file, there's a big red X on it. You might wonder, can we still downgrade to that version? We're here to find out. Keep watching. When a version becomes outdated, Apple stops signing older versions which basically means they stop giving it their stamp of approval for installation on your device. Once an iOS version is unsigned, you can no longer install it through official methods. That's because Apple only allows downgrades to signed versions of iOS for safety reasons and product iteration purposes. With increasingly sophisticated hacking techniques, this is Apple's way of keeping everyone on the latest and most secure software. Plus, Apple frequently updates its security protocols, so even though you might find older versions online or in YouTube videos, many of those methods are outdated and won't work anymore. So before we get into the unsigned files part, if you want to safely downgrade to a specific iOS version, you can use Reiboot to do this. It provides various available iOS files for upgrading or downgrading. Like you can get iOS 16, on your old iPhone X or iOS 17.5 on your iPhone 15. And if Apple suddenly allows signing of older iOS versions, or if the software supports them, you can just connect your phone to Reiboot and check for new available files to safely downgrade your phone with it. I have put the link below if you are interested. Now I'll explain some of the downgrade methods currently circulating online. Here I will talk about SHSH blobs first. Due to Wikipedia, this were the digital signatures used by Apple to verify iOS versions. Some people have created tools to bypass the signature system, allowing installation of older iOS versions that Apple no longer signs. However, this changed with iOS 5, which added a random cryptographic nonce in the app ticket, rendering the old method useless. This made downgrading to unsigned iOS versions much harder without jailbreaking. And the newer iOS versions have introduced more complicated components like Crypticone, which make the downgrades almost impossible. In the past, tools like Future Restore allowed downgrades using SHSH blobs. But this method is no longer reliable either. You may be able to use tools like Air Squared Blob Saver to save these blobs today, but don't rely on them for immediate downgrades, just in case new solutions emerge in the future. You can keep an eye on it if you want. Now, if you hear of Delayota, this method is primarily for upgrading to a newer version that has recently become unsigned, but not for downgrading. For example, if you're on iOS 15 and want to jump to iOS 17.5 after it's unsigned, Delayota can help, but only within a certain time frame, typically around three months after signing ends. The harsh reality is, if you want to install unsigned IPSW files on your devices safely, without damaging your phone, is almost impossible with current methods. Even with saved SHSH blobs, the security measures in place make it a challenging task. The best advice is to avoid updating your device in the first place or to downgrade with safe tools like iTunes or Reboot without jailbreaking. I know it can be disappointing, but there may be changes in the future where we can get the old iOS back. Keep an eye on Reboot or IPSW.com to see if that becomes available. If this information helps, like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.